Hi guys, my name is Debbie and I'm an intuitive reader as well as a medium here. And I'm here to give some type of messages from beyond. Hopefully this does help and resonate for whomever this is meant for. Let's get into it. So uh, do check out my book. Also check out my description box if you're interested in an own private reading. Uh, yeah, so let's get started here. Someone I feel has or had uh, dementia. Uh, they had a very hard time in focusing. Uh, and I feel that they wanted to apologize. My husband had uh, liver issues and he, uh, uh, I know it's not him. I would recognize his voice, but this is definitely a male energy. And I feel that uh, they were just very, very lost. They were very confused. When my husband had dementia, that's why I'm thinking it's this. Uh, I mean, obviously, you know. Uh, but yeah, so I just feel that he used to do things that he didn't even realize that he was saying or doing. Okay. Uh, and they get uh, like very, very rare. You know, uh, it wasn't him, you know, mentally speaking, you know. Uh, but I think I was trying to put on his shoes one time and he got kind of rare. Okay. Uh, so, you know, he apologized profusely when he came out of that. He had a very in and out energy of the confusion of not really knowing, understanding what was going on. And I feel like somebody was trying to uh, talk to this gentleman that passed here, non-related to my husband anymore, the story time over. But I feel like they feel bad, okay? Uh, they're not like that anymore. They're happy. Uh, they're content. And, and I really feel like there is uh, a wife out there that was very concerned. Are they still the same way on the other side? Absolutely not, okay? So he's saying that all that went away. You know, he has life again uh, on the other side, spiritually speaking, you know. Uh, he does uh, regret the things, but he had no idea what was going on, I'm feeling, okay? Uh, but yeah, it's almost kind of, I literally heard him say repent, you know, he feels bad. There's this guilt, okay? Uh, but I feel like, you know, everything is um, say la vie, you know? Uh, but yeah, so I just feel like there is this wife out there that is feeling um, kind of, worried whether or not he's still like this but no he's trying to communicate to you once all the all the everything's different when they pass you know it's like all the illness all the uh the hurt okay uh the pain that we go through when we're passing nothing carries over to that side okay definitely not Wow. Okay. So basically he wants to say thank you for explaining that situation of how he was dealing with it, that he really didn't know what exactly was going on and that it was successful in kind of calming the situation. And he just appreciated that was wild. They usually don't say that. That's wild. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, so that was a little message for me. <laughs> so but anyway, uh, but yeah, I feel like the wife is kind of wondering did I just see something you know uh yes that was him that was him okay uh they can present themselves absolutely uh whether it's kind of like you saw something out of the corner of your eye and you kind of question yourself did that just happen you know yes that was him okay it wasn't meant to be spooky or anything or scary or anything but yeah I, I feel like it kind of did. It kind of freaked you out, which is rightfully so. But I just feel like he's like, uh, uh, you know, proclaiming that it really was him, but he didn't mean anything bad by it to, to scare you like that. But anyway. Uh, also, I feel like initially it's kind of like it, it was literally like the next day when when you saw a sign or you felt his energy or you saw him or something. So it's like, oh, that was too quick. Like you easily can talk yourself out of it, you know, uh, but yeah.
Yeah, he's very good at showing the signs. He's laughing, actually, and he's like, yeah, I'm getting better at this, you know. Uh, but, yeah, so he is very good. Some spirits do take longer, you know. I think my husband took, um, oh, gosh, it was like three days, if that. Like, he, you know, no, it was, uh, well, anyway, it doesn't matter. But, yeah, it was like three days. Like, he was... Uh, the lights flickered at the uh, gathering, you know, the, the meal after the, uh, it was just a home thing. It wasn't um, at my in-laws, but yeah, it wasn't anything big. Not It wasn't outside public, you know, whatever, or family like that, but it was just us, you know, uh, and the lights flickered and I saw him and my, my daughter, Allison, she saw him. Uh, we both have the same gift. So, but yeah, and uh we both looked at each other when it happened and I just smiled and I didn't say nothing because it was it was that time you know it was like it's not the time to bring this up to, you know so I just kept my mouth shut but I saw him she saw him too to confirm it but uh but yeah so there's some kind of recognition that he's getting good at okay uh no matter how long it takes you know but I feel this was pretty quick after his passing so Good for you that you can sense him, feel him, see him, okay? Uh, but yeah, so. I feel like he wasn't the biggest believer in the afterlife, but I feel like he was pretty impressed when he got over there. So this is what it's like over here. He loves it. He's happy, okay? Definitely happy. He's also, because of coming over on this side, he's also claiming that, you know, this is cool. I can visit whoever I want whenever I want, you know? Uh, but yeah, nothing's going to stop him with that ten of wands heading towards the hangman. That's Hangman is known for stagnation. Nope. Tens are known for a completion. Nope. Nothing can stop me. I'm just checking everything out. I visit your home. I feel that he's definitely showing his energy there. He did go to the light, obviously. I feel like he crossed over, but they can come back and definitely visit here. I feel... <laughs> I don't know. He's very into it, like going, coming and going kind of thing. Uh, now, this could have been his personality before this dementia hit, you know, or what have you. Uh, but yeah, he was always on the go, always like traveling and always, uh, you know, I'm just going to go to, you know, the hardware store or, I'm, you know, just going to go get some, uh, you know, going to make some uh, veggie soup, you know, or <laughs> so, so I'm just going to go there. Uh, but yeah. I'd uh, love to get out and just like to, you know, explore the world, I guess, you know, uh, but always active kind of energy here. He's the same way. He's traveling <laughs> back and forth here. But yeah, that's pretty funny, actually. He did have a good sense of humor. I do have to say that if he was still present, he would be making you laugh. OK, and I feel like you miss that laughter. You miss his jokester, you know. Uh, but he was very fair, you know, uh, he, he did not like drama. He didn't like, um, you know, um, gossip. He didn't like fighting kind of thing. He had to take care of it right away. As soon as he felt it, you know, uh, that's the, the same energy that he still has. I feel he wants you to have the inner strength here in the home. Okay. Uh, maybe possibly talk to him or talk to somebody, but I feel like there's this energy of, I don't need anybody to talk to. This is the wife, okay? Uh, and I get that, you know, first time I went to story time, first time I went to a um, a therapist, it was like, it was for my, uh, actually it was for my my mother that passed. My dad didn't know what to do. So he just threw me in this office. I'm like, where am I? <laughs> I was like 13. I'm like, what is going on? I want to go ride my bike. You know, I was being on my bike, but, uh, but yeah. And I was in there and I'm like, you don't know me. Why would you care what I have going on in my life? I just want to ride my bike, dude. Like I didn't understand, you know? Uh, but like, no, you kind of, worry that now nah, why am I talking to somebody you know because they don't really care they're just here getting paid <laughs> sorry but that's the way I was thinking you know uh but yeah so I just feel like if that's not your cup of tea with therapy then I would definitely pray you know there's nothing wrong with pray and talking to him and I do feel that he hears your response he is a jokester he's telling jokes and he's <laughs> 
he's trying to make me laugh. Uh, but yeah, so definitely, I feel like that was one of his ways to express his love for you, okay? Uh, he always would put, like, he's the type that would go into a, I wouldn't say party, but a gathering, you know, he'd be the life of the party with the first joke. They're showing me, I just heard Uncle Duffy. My Uncle Duffy uh, was my dad's sister's husband and he was a trip as a card you know uh but yeah and uh he always had a joke uh always always had a joke okay he was a jolly good old man you know and he was fun I actually wrote a story uh in the book uh about him which was kind of freaky but yeah that that either when he passed away I had an experience seeing him uh but yeah it was it's very in detail, the, the story. So, uh, but yeah, that's what the book is all about. It's just story after story of interaction with spirits. And one of them was my uncle Duffy, but his real name was Donald. And he always had, um, a joke, you know, uh, but yeah, that's, that's what I feel always a prank. Could, he pranked too, but he was more so a jokester, but yeah. And I feel like that was his way of showing his love. Okay. Meaning your husband here. But yeah, so that's what I have. Just know that how much he does love you. And you two will reunite, okay? You definitely will. Not for a while, but I do feel I have to, always have to say that. You're not going anywhere. All right. But yeah, definitely. Um, but yeah, he definitely loves you and he wants to express how much he truly loves you. And I feel like uh, if he could, he would make jokes uh, right now, you know, which he is in a way. But he's telling me privately little jokes, you know, making me try to uh, break, break a, uh, cause a smile on my face, which is very easily done. I'm very the jolly type myself. So, <laughs> but anyway, that is what I have for whomever this is meant for. Thank you all for watching. I truly appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe as well, smashing that like button. There are so many videos. I call it marathon watching. If you like to, uh, one may resonate for you here. So definitely, if it does, comment down below. I like to get that confirmation, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.